This video is strictly for educational purposes only. All the attacks were performed in a controlled virtual lab environment. The presenter is not responsible for any misuse of the information presented in this video and does not support any malicious hacking activities. Hacking systems is a cyber crime and uh, will land you in prison if you misuse such tools or systems for which you don't have permission. Hello and welcome back to another session on cybersecurity. In this session, we're going to take a look at another web application attack called clickjacking. If uh, you have taken a look at my uh, session on Nikto, wherein we have used Nikto to scan codespindle.com. And uh, one of the vulnerabilities that we were able to find is uh, the clickjacking vulnerability. So if you're not uh, seen my lecture on Nikto, I'll be posting the link for that lecture video in the description below. Just have a look at it. So clickjacking is considered to be a vulnerability for a web application. So what clickjacking is all about is a malicious technique where an attacker tricks user uh, into clicking on something different from what they actually intended. It's also known as UI redressing. Uh, quite a confusing uh, definition. Let's take a demonstration here. See, let's uh, uh, go to codespindle.com. Say this is the web application and uh, we've got uh, concepts on a lot of things here. And uh, here we are able to see a button, click for the price. So now happy for the price, let me click on it. And it says enter your username and password to claim your price. And once when I enter my username and password, this will be diverted to the hacker. So what's happening here? See, I am visiting a, a site which I consider to be genuine. Maybe I'm using code spindle many, many a times in the past. I trust this site. But then I am having some buttons on code spindle which I click. And I will genuinely enter my data because I trust this site. I've used this many times and there's a button on this site. But uh, this particular page diverts the uh, data to an hacker. So how this is happening is, this is uh, called click jacking. Let me show you what's happening here. So what the hacker will do is he will load your website. See, here is going to load the website in an iframe. So for uh, this, the prerequisite is you should have some basic understanding of uh, HTML and CSS. So if you're not clear about HTML and CSS, go to my lectures on code spindle. Again, you, you can go to HTML, CSS, JavaScript, have some understanding of that, but it's very basic. So what is that we are seeing here is we are loading the entire website, say code spindle or any genuine website inside an iframe. And uh, we are setting the iframe to the width to be 100% of the viewport height. And uh, I'm sorry, we are setting the height to be 100% of the viewport height and width to be 100% of the viewports width. So what happens is this thing you're seeing is an height frame loading the entire website with the height and width to be the viewport height and width. So you're running a genuine website inside an iframe. That's the concept here. And uh, we are also having a button. So this button is what the hacker codes. So this button is going to have uh, a button and this will be linked to the hacker's web page, click for price. And uh, the concept you are using here is Z index. So Z index uh, button with the higher Z index will be placed on top of uh, this page. So definitely you should have an understanding of Z index. So the page goes down and uh, this button is placed on top of the page. So that's the use of Z index. So here you see the iframe has got a Z index of one, the button has got a Z index of two. So we are overlaying that button on that specific iframe. So the genuine website runs inside the iframe it takes the viewport with the height, whereas the button is overlaying on that specific iframe. And this was coded by the hacker. And when you click on it, it will be diverting to a page which the hacker has coded. And when you enter the information here, that will be sent to the hacker. So this is called click jacking and a very serious issue. So people will trust the site. The site will work exactly as like what they expected, but there might be certain buttons which they may not be aware of which will be coded by the hacker and uh, the users will be tricked into clicking these buttons. So that's the malicious 
technique where the attacker tricks users into clicking on something different from what they actually intended. So how it works, uh, invisible layers. So you can have many layers. As I told you, the button is one layer. The iframe is another layer. Deceptive elements, claim for price is a deceptive element that's present in the specific attack. And user confusion. See, user sees sportsmodel.com, he trusts the website, but then the attacker is able to uh, use that uh, user's confusion and make him provide critical information. So this is the sample which I've given you. And uh, let me go to a pen. So this is the button, overlying button, which uh, creates a confusion for the user. User trusts and clicks and then it takes him to a different page and he enters the data, it's diverted to the hacker. So how you can prevent this is, you can prevent the site, say the sportspental.com, you should prevent the site from uh, uh, being embedded inside an iframe. You can prevent that. See, only when he uses the entire site inside an iframe, this kind of an attack happens. So you can set the X frame options header and we can deny loading of the site inside an iframe and you can also write some scripts which can detect embedding a site inside an iframe and educate the users about the risks involved if they see something suspicious they should not be really giving in the data so the uh, the way to prevent this for code spindle uh, you go to that specific uh, platform where you have posted the site you check for this file dot ht access file and you can include this. So these are the headers we are going to include. We are going to deny X frame options, deny. And this they say is somewhat outdated. The latest one is content security policy, a uh, frame ancestors none. So what it means is this page, code spindle, should not be embedded. There's no ancestor, frame ancestor is none. So you don't have any ancestors that uh, can be used for loading this page. So that's how you can prevent uh, clickjacking. I hope you were all clear with what is clickjacking and how you prevent it. The main concept is use an iframe, load the genuine website in the iframe, have some layers above it like buttons or whatever it is and trick the users to enter their data. So this is a web application attack and you can very well prevent this by denying the website to be loaded into iframes. I hope you are able to follow this. That's it for now. Take care.